What's up, y'all? Movies, music, sports, and life. This is Jay Sproul, representing the north side of Milwaukee, my hometown, and representing that north side, the far, far north side of Atlanta. Some people say Gwinnett County isn't technically Atlanta. I think that's funny. Uh... Atlanta suburbs are all considered the city now. It don't matter if you're in Douglasville, uh, Sugarland, or Sugarloaf, whatever it's called, Beaufort. All that stuff is considered Atlanta now. But at any rate, Power Book 3. Let's first start with the trailer. There was a few things that I picked up on the trailer. I won't put the notepad up in front of your face, but I'll at least reference it. Number one, Rock is lying to Kanan again. You know, I I don't know how it can beat it. Somebody just decided they don't want to be here no more. Like, she she's a terrible liar. And you looking at his face... And this is the second young man that uh, Kanan formed a bond with. Because remember, they physically fought and had a fight. But I don't think Scrappy respected Kanan just because he's Rock's son and he had to. I think that he picked up on the fact that Kanan is his own man. And Scrap respected that. So they they weren't boys, boys like that. But they both had genuine respect for each other. That to the point, if you decide to kill him, I'm going to be pissed off. Second scene. Kanan comes up with the idea to sell narcotics with the mixtape. Uh, this is not a new idea. Um, I don't want to snitch, but let me just let, let me just say that I've known it for over 20 years in terms of both national and local rappers slash R&B singers either slanging themselves or having a big time person behind them that finances their music that sells it's it's the oldest trick in the book you know um you can't really do comedy acting or singing slash rapping you can't do it to its fullest extent if you still have a nine to five job that's why some women today oh uh I forget the girl's name who looks like Aaliyah from Dallas. B. Simone. I don't really appreciate like women like B. Simone making it seem like men who have a 9 to 5 are squares or men who have a 9 to 5 are boring. Like you don't have to disrespect the kind of men that you don't want just because you want someone that doesn't have a 9 to 5. But... I can say in all honesty that if you're going for music, athletics, comedy, acting, singing, rapping, not saying that you can't still have a nine to five and and do well, but it's impossible to completely succeed at those things until you give the nine to five up. And some people aren't cut out to do that. Um, the third thing in the trailer I noticed. We ready. But I can't guarantee that we just going to talk. That definitely sound like Unique's voice when he said, you know, we need to talk. So I'm pretty sure that's who Rock was shooting back at when she made that statement. And then the last two scenes of the trailer, uh, Burke, who is the nosy neighbor slash cop partner, 
of uh, Detective Howard. I don't know who she's talking to now. She's telling somebody else my partner has secrets. You talking too much. You know, I I don't understand what Burke's end game is of what she's trying to. <laughs> I just don't know how she thinks this is going to end. You know, you you trying to snitch on your partner. I, I don't get it. And then Kanan learns about what Detective Howard, a.k.a. Omar Epps, wants to tell him. So now that I've reviewed the four things that they focused on and highlighted on the preview to episode three, let me give you my four things in terms of my own theories. I don't have any proof or inside knowledge of this, but for some reason, I think that Latoya Luckett, uh, forgive me for not knowing the proper character name of Jukebox Mom, I have a feeling that she's going to reject her at first. And I didn't do my homework to see how many episodes Latoya Luckett formerly of Destiny's Child is in this season but if it's more than one episode then you can best believe if I'm right and she does reject Jukebox at first something's going to happen to bring her back around you know that, that rejection won't stay uh, static you know it won't be permanent something's gonna have to happen for either her to give Juke another chance or Juke to give her another chance but for the life of me right now I can't even guess or um, envision what that would be but I think because Jukebox gets her heart broke so often I just can't picture her finding her mom and her mom just says my baby and just embraces her with open arms right away you know uh juke is tough but juke has been through a lot and i just feel like that nothing just ever happens smoothly for her maybe with the exception of her relationship with nicole started off pretty smoothly and then just went completely left okay if you are anything like me when Worrell met with Unique, it really felt like Unique was going to kill him right there on the spot. And this can go either one or two ways. Either Unique is going to regret not killing Worrell right then and there for turning on him. Or he knows Worrell so well that he didn't take his life because he knew he would turn on Rock and come back to him and be on his side. And uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if Worrell is with Unique when Rock is talking to them when they had that confrontation. You know, that might have been the shortest alliance ever. But as I said in my previous video, Rock just, she handled that whole thing sloppily. Like she should have bailed him out of jail. You know, then, you know, in the streets, that's like a credit. Like, you got a credit with me. I can't wipe, wipe my hands of it until I do right by you in some type of way. So... Yeah, she should have either bailed him out or she should have killed him right away so that Unique really had nothing to come home to. But the way that Rock did it, he had something to come home to. And even if it wasn't what he wanted to hear, there's still room for Worrell to change his mind, especially since Unique didn't kill him. Um... <laughs> If you notice the thumbnail of this video, 
Uh, shout out to Mark Dark. Uh, Mark Dark, by far, uh, probably uh, closely followed by Lamont Tyson, is the most popular black YouTuber when it comes to power, when it comes to the shy, and uh, probably Snowfall, like uh, Power, Shy, and the Snowfall. Like, people respect Mark Dark a lot. So, just to give you an idea of how popular Mark Dark is, little old me, just making a comment under somebody's comment, I had like 48 likes on the comment that I made. And the comment I was responding to was someone said Famous should have went with his sister to California. And my exact words is Famous is going to get murked. A.K.A. deleted, A.K.A. killed. And I said, uh, he is just all around reckless. He's reckless in everything he does. And then uh, the final thing I said, I said, just an unlikable character. <laughs> you know? And obviously, if I got 48 likes off of re response, a lot of people agree with me. So my predictions this is monday morning predictions from power book three raising canyon my prediction is that famous is going to make another song about how they moving drugs along with his mixtapes if you remember they didn't really explore canyon being mad at famous for snitching in the song streets need a body he was clearly pissed off about it but in season two they didn't even explore it for whatever reason they didn't even they didn't even follow up on that you know that's ridiculous that they didn't follow up on that so since famous seems like the type of person that just messes up every good situation he has He's probably going to make a song that's going to make it hot for Rock, Kanan, and Lulu. And not saying that one of those three would be the one to take him out. But his bill is going to come due based off of that type of mindset and that type of behavior. You know, uh, you in the wrong occupation in terms of hustling and selling narcotics. If you like to talk a lot and let everybody know what your moves are. So that's my prediction is that Famous is going to do something stupid to get the organization in hot water. And then for my final prediction for episode three, Monday morning predictions of Power Book 3 Raising Canaan. I think Detective Howard is going to be forced to either kill Burke, his police partner, or frame her slash set her up to go to jail. But either way, she can't just be alive or causing problems for him, you know, and causing problems would be her not being killed but still doing that job still kind of semi investigating him that's all she's really doing she's investigating him you know without a warrant without any of the proper red tape that you have to go through to conduct an investigation and in terms of rank he's her superior so, yeah, he's not the captain of the police force, but, you know, when you have partners, you have a veteran and a rookie. So she is his rookie. She's not supposed to be doing that, but she doesn't care. She's obsessed with what she appears to be an improper relationship. And he can't allow that to continue. He has to figure out what he's going to do about Burke because... It's obvious she's not going to stop looking into it just because he says so. And for the final prediction, 
and we're gonna wrap this up. We clocked in at 15 minutes. I have a feeling, or it is my prediction, that when Detective Howard tells Kanan next week that he is his natural father, his biological father, his birth father, is it just me, or do, does it not? Does it make zero sense for him to do that? And then just send Kanan on his way. Like you're going to devastate me with this information. And then just set me free to go. So yeah I'm your real father. I know that you're the one who shot me and tried to kill me. But you failed at doing that. Okay have a good day Kanan. See you later kid. No. He is going to pose some type of stipulation. He he wants something in return from Canaan for me knowing that you shot me and me telling you to your face I'm not gonna turn you in. You know, because that's a precarious type of situation to be in. So I can't imagine exactly what it is that he's going to tell Canaan. But I will say that we all must be crazy if we think that Omar Epps is going to sit in that car with that young man, tell him what he tells him, and then tells him to go to school or go back to your mother's house. Just doesn't add up. Jay Sproul, Movies, Music, Sports, and Life. We out of here.